Hey guys, how is it going, man? Hope you guys are doing well and you're crushing this Halloween season. And in this video, we're gonna do another call to arms. And I'm gonna run you through it and show you my successes and my failures so you can learn from both. But before I get into that, if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, continue to help me grow. Also, do me a favor and hit the notification bell so that you are alerted the next time that I drop a new video. Now that that's out of the way, yo, let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna do the Heartlands oil field call to arms. It's a big map. It's not that tough, but it can be tough if you don't know what's gonna come at you. And I'm gonna run through what's gonna come at you, show you some gameplay, and I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips at the end to help you survive all 10 waves. So let's get there and get started. Yeah, let's find the best high point. Oh no, I like this right here. If you up there on the roof, me and him can watch this little alcove right here because it's got uh it's got cover. Jay, you watch this ladder and everything from this side, and I'll watch over here. So you make sure nobody comes up on the ladder on us. And we can watch everything over here. All of our help is out there, so this round is gonna be a wash with us going out there to uh, revive them. Who coming around? Oh, they right up under the shoot. They getting our help. Are you help? Are you helping them? Keep him alive. Oh, they in the building. Yeah, they spawned in the building. But it's way out there. Watch. Uh, hey, watch the ladder. They coming up the ladder. They coming. Up, somebody come up the ladder. I got him. I got the ladder. If y'all hold everything else, I got the ladder. I'm telling you, I got this ladder. <laughs> you see, they not coming up. <laughs> What she thinks she is gonna do <laughs> with her bow and arrow? Yeah, it's two gallons. I got one gallon. <laughs> he was gonna try to turn around and go back down. <laughs> Jimmy, watch the ladder. I gotta get the sniper because I saw him spawn. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. So like I said, this is just a big map. It's not that tough if you know where everything is gonna come from. A lot's gonna come at you. Now it's not a, it's not a cakewalk, it's not easy. But if you know where everything is gonna come at you, you'll be able to, to survive no problem. And what you wanna do when you first get here, you're gonna have a number of buildings that you can pick, but this is gonna be the best spot. Up here is gonna be the best building that you're gonna be able to use. Now you can go on the inside or you can go on the outside. My recommendation is that you go on the outside. Don't even worry about the inside. Have it covered because there are too many entrances and exits on the inside. You won't be able to cover them all. But what you want to do is you want to come up here, you and your posse, and you're pretty much going to ride everything out in this little alcove right here. You can duck and have good cover. They're going to come from this direction. From under here, you can pop them off from here. You can pop them off in the field. The wagon is going to come that direction. So you can pop them off before they even get here. There'll be a sniper at that tower over there that won't be able to get you if you're standing behind um, that pillar. But you can duck and step out and, and take out the sniper. And there'll be a sniper on the other side of the building that won't be able to get you. Um, there are going to be a number of armored Gatling wagons that are going to come. They're going to come from, um, from that direction in the middle. They're going to come from that direction in the middle. They're going to come right here and they're going to come right there. And once you get down to the round nine and ten, two are going to come and they're going to come heavy. You'll be able to get everything that's in this area and you could be able to take the uh, the Gatling guns out. Uh, no problem. If you have a sniper, it's going to be a little bit hard because they're going to be shooting at you this direction. So what you want to do is get you a shotgun with some incendiary bullets. You hit it one time. It's done. A Gatling will also come at the back right here. Same deal. Incendiary shotgun shells will hit it right in the opening. Boom, and it's done. Um, zombies gonna come from all over here. Up in here, what's great is that you can duck and the tomahawks won't get you. And if they do get you and you want to make sure you have a potion 
on each and every round, especially once you get to five. Once you get to five, start popping your potions and make sure you stay yellow because then you may be able to survive one Tomahawk hit. And if you do, the rest of your posse is here and they can be able to revive you. But right here, if you duck down right here, nothing can get you. Nothing hits you, nothing over there, nothing on this side, nothing can hit you. And all you have to do once you get down to those later rounds is have someone watching the ladder and just pop them off. They're going to come up the ladder, just pop them off each time as somebody's trying to come up the ladder. And have the other two or three people uh, sniping everything over here, hitting everything over there. Every now and then, have someone go to the roof. They will spawn on the roof, so be careful. They will spawn on the roof, but they won't really come to the edge. So you will have to go up there to take them out. But they do spawn on the roof. Nothing spawns in here. Like I said, this is pretty much a safe spot. Um, you have a lot of snipers in here. It'll be one down in there. It'll be a number of them up here. So you just want to make sure that you're always looking out for the sniper and hitting them. Because the sniper can't hit the person that you have right here. But they can't hit the person that you have over here. So you need the person over here to be able to take the snipers out. So make sure you have somebody in your posse that has a sniper rifle that can take them out. Or a rifle with a scope that can be able to take them out. But that's pretty much it. You do those things. You hunker down in here and you will be able to last all 10 waves. Like I said, once you get down to nine, uh, well, really that six and seven, you want to have somebody watching the ladder and be OK with if you feel like they're surrounded, especially if you're riding solo and you feel surrounded. Be OK just ducking down right in here and watching the ladder because they will come up the ladder. Don't try to throw any dynamite or anything down there. I know it may sound like a good idea, but you'll. Most likely will blow yourself up and miss miss the throw and a dynamite will drop and you'll blow yourself up or you'll blow somebody up in your posse. So really just hunker down in this area. This is one of the best areas, you know, and I've done them every spot. And this has been um, pretty much the best for me. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. Hope it was helpful in some way, shape or form, man. And if it was, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Continue to help me grow. Also, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. And let the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoy this type of content so that they shoot out the others who enjoy this type of content as well. And do me one more big favor, man. Hit that notification bell so that you are alerted the next time that I drop a new video. That's it. Get all that money and all the XP before Halloween is over and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey, Outlaws, if you enjoyed that video, then check out this next video as some more Red Dead Online content.